Hey guys, 247 back with another Danganronpa uh, gameplay video. Today we are going to be continuing. So, in the last episode, we got to explore some more. So, we went to the second floor and we ended up exploring more of the school. And yeah, that's all I can really say what happened in the last episode. So, I think we're supposed to go to the dining hall, if I remember. My mic's a bit loud. I think it was the dining hall. Yes, it was. Hey, morning, Makoto. Good morning. Is everyone here already? Yo, yo, yo. Nope, still waiting on Byakuya and Taka. Byakuya is no surprise, but it's strange Taka's not here yet. Knowing Taka, I imagine he is trying to get the King of Tardiness up and out of bed. Hmm. I'm sure they'll be here soon enough. Just be patient. Let's see. I don't mind waiting for them, but there is one problem. Which is, which is... <sighs> I am thirsty. Hey, come on. How the hell is that a problem? <laughs> Hafumi, would you make me some tea? Huh? huh? <laughs> Milk tea, if you please. Well... Wh why me? Let's see. Your roundish... <clears throat> Sorry. Your roundish figure reminds me of the owner of the coffee shop I used to frequent. That's your reason? This is fine. I can feel my throat drying out. Quickly, please. Jeez, this is loud. Turning that thing down. God. Okay. Apparently unable to refuse Celeste's order, Ofumi schooled his way into the kitchen. And a few minutes later... <laughs> Thank you for waiting. Ofumi reappeared with a tray in hand, the gentle aroma growing stronger as he approached. <laughs> hmm, finally. You could have made some for the rest of us, you know. No way to I emphatically... About this in a sense sorry, kind of sorry, way. sorry, I didn't say that right. I emphatically decline. You're not my type at all. <laughs> what? Mm, it's all about the law of casualty. Basic instinct. Act and react. <laughs> well, then, if you don't mind. A small smile played across her lips as she held the teacup de delicately in oh. her hand. Wait. She cocked her head to the side. Threw the cup as hard as she could at the wall. What? What the? Hey, what are you doing, my little white rabbit? <laughs> what? I hate this kind of tea. Oh my god, Celeste. Um, um I don't understand. Yes, Imagine we are at a coffee shop. Just any normal, everyday cafe. I sit down and I order some tea. Then they ask me, would you like lemon or milk? Now further imagine that I replied, ah yes, I would like milk tea please. In this case, along with my tea, they may bring me a small container of milk, yes? <gasps> but this is not for me. I am among those who prefer the milk to be part of the process from the outset. The fragrance is just so overwhelmingly sweet that way. Adding milk or lemon right before you drink is your, like you're like dousing your fries in ketchup. Mere condiments. Whenever looking for a cafe, I first review their menu to see if it offers the proper style of milk tea. And I cannot acknowledge my any milk tea that does not add the milk during the brewing process. If I have to describe our shared reaction to what I've just heard, I'd have to go with wide-eyed bewilderment. Um, I went all that trouble to make you that tea, and you want me to go even farther? Yes, I realize I can be a bit of a hassle. Oh, well, at least she knows that. In, even in cafes that offer a proper milk tea, it is always more expensive than simple tea with milk. It takes more time to prepare, surely, but... Why even bother creating a menu if you are not going to offer the highest level of quality? Well, uh, we don't actually have a menu. You that doesn't... Bitch. Oh my god, Celeste. That does not matter. Hurry up and bring me what I asked for, swine. Say what? what? Yeah! Okay, you little piggy will bring it right out. Hmm, I do so love coriation. You were like a, to a totally different person just now. Shit. Yeah, crap. You went real psycho there. <laughs> hmm. I knew there was more to her when I first meant to meant her. I'd hate her. I'd hate to have her as an enemy. Seriously, man, she's one scary chick. The dining hall doors flew open, and one of the late arrivals came storming in. But <laughs> bad news, everyone. There was a mystery afoot. Huh? Huh? What happened? <clears throat> it would seem Byakuya refuses to leave his room. I stood there pressing his doorbell over and over, but he never showed himself. Maybe he just wasn't there? I think maybe... I'd like to think so, but I'm worried something might have happened to him. What do you mean by that? He didn't have to say anything else. Everyone understood exactly what that might mean. 
Might be a good idea if we all split up and go look for Listen him. To me. Oh, I was just about to suggest the same thing. Oh, what's your problem? I'm trying to one-up everyone. Um... Okay, then I'll go check his room one more time. I'm just going to keep ha on hammering that button until I get a response. Well, then. Very well. Then the rest of us can go check the rest of the building. Uh, um... Yeah, before it's, you know, too late. Anyway, we have to just do our best to find Byakuya. So, where might Byakuya have gone? Maybe we went to go check out the second floor of the school again. Alright. And we're leaving again. So, the second floor of the school is where I probably have to go. Okay, now I know I can just teleport there, but uh, I do want to go to the store. I want to get some stuff. Alright, let's get some more Monokuma balls or whatever. Some of these. Uh, give it a shot. Alright, so we have 88 coins. Okay, so... No, no, I wanna actually do it. Alright, so how do you do it? Learn more about it. Bring your stay here, uh, mono coins. You gotta... What, what do I press? Yeah, yes, but what do I press? I want to add stuff. Oh, there we go. Uh, we'll go with three right now. Oh, okay, I'll see what I can do. Oh, let's go with four then. Can you get something really good? Oh, okay. What if I use all my coins? Alright, now. I'll get one more thing. Uh, yeah. We'll do it for uh, two this time. I want to get something really good. Alright, that looks fine. What happened to that? Alright, you know what? We'll do one more. I, I kind of like this. This is weird. Alright. I think that's it. Yeah, we should probably get going. Yes, leave. Alright. Okay, how do I sprint again? Can I not sprint? That's trial room. Where is the stairs again? Stairs are definitely over here, right? I think so. Yeah, stairs are over here. Nurse office isn't open yet. I don't know if it will be open. Can I not run for some reason? That is so weird. Alright, I would assume... Oh, hey, Kyoko. Hey. So you'd like to come here, too. Huh? So... If you think about what Byakuya was so interested in yesterday, you can probably guess where he's now, right? Huh? Um, what was it that Byakuya was so interested in? The library. The library. That was easy. Uh, Yeah, this part. Library right here. Library right here. When I opened the door to the library and looked inside, oh, don't tell me there was a... I cried out in sun surprise. Oh, no, 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 no. Yakia! Oh, never mind. He's alive. Of all the things I'd imagined, this most definitely wasn't one hey, of them. Uh, what are you doing? I'm fishing. What does it look like I'm doing? Fishing? <laughs> I'm trying to read, so if you could be quiet. Wow, you're a jerk. Oh, sorry. Wait, no! What are you doing here? Everyone's super worried. We've all been looking for you. Who asked you to do that? Yeah, we're just being nice, man. Because we're all supposed to meet up in the morning and eat together. We made a promise. A promise? <sighs> Can't I get a second's peace and quiet around here? Uh, no, because you're kind of a jerk. Is there a way to turn the music down? Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Options. Oh. Okay, the sound effects are fine. Sound effect 
Fox or that's voice volume. Movement. Uh, now I know what the settings were. Okay, we're good. Yakia snapped his book shut and slowly stood up, smooth and silent as a shadow. Meanwhile, the others must have heard me yell and start showing up one after another. Biakio, so this is where you've been hiding. <sighs> the heck are you doing here, man? Mm -hmm. We were very concerned. <laughs> we had no reason to be here. I was just reading. I've never heard such... I've never read such a coarse novel before, but it must, might just prove useful at some point. Well... Well, what were you reading? <laughs> a, mis a mystery novel. Well... What? What? Are you going to wait? Wait. Are you going to use? Are you going to use what you're learning in there to betray us? Hm. Don't be stupid. Yeah. It's just something to keep in mind. Yeah. What? Naturally. If I decide to fight, of course I'll come up with something original. Otherwise, this game of ours would be totally boring, right? <laughs> it's not often you get to take part in such a high stakes, high tension activity. So if you're going to do it, you have to make sure it's entertaining, hmm? This word sent a chill down my spine. There was an undeniable smile on his face as he spoke. He looked like he was actually enjoying himself. Enjoying this deranged killing game. Damn you! What the frick do you mean, game? That's effed up. Hm. But it is a game. It's a game of life or death, which can only have one winner. That's all there is to it. <sighs> he is right. It's a zero-sum game. What? Are you okay with this? It is a part of game theory, a mathematical novel model. In game theory, what we are going through now is called a zero-sum game. In this type of game, in order for a person to gain something, another must necessarily lose something. In other words, it is a situation in which participants must compete for po position or resources. Uh, I understand that, kind of, Celeste. You ever come out with the facts that you're weird? Understand that. You mean some kind of... You mean like some kind of... Elimination match? Actually... Entrance exams, sports tournaments, job openings, most social interactions fall into this category. Everyone must scrabble to obtain something which is limited. For you to succeed, someone else must fail. Alright. This also applies to the school life we have been subjected to here. In this case, is that okay? our limited resource is that only one of us can successfully become the Blackened. Why? So in other words... So this game was designed by, from the beginning to force one of us to try and defeat all the others. That can't be what they had in mind. <laughs> this is why adaptation is so crucial. If those who want to escape were to disappear, there would be no reason to continue playing the game. What? But why would I want to stop playing? It's so much fun. Smiled again as he spoke. Smile was filled with evil intent. Put his face into something not human. <sighs> Sounds like you don't, you do not acknowledge even the possibility that you may lose. Am I right? Naturally. Okay. Of course. <laughs> Great. You do not speak like the others, exactly what I would expect from the Togami air apart apparent. <sighs> it's just normal arrogance, isn't it? Just a second! You talk like that, but what if you end up dead? Not possible. I won't. It simply not isn't possible. You son of a bitch! Who the frick do you think you are? <laughs> you know, I still just can't believe it. What? Believe what? <laughs> that an un uneducated, brain-dead, useless piece of garbage like you has survived this long. Piece of shit! I'm gonna frickin' kill you! Don't make me repeat Like myself. I said, I won't die. <sighs> you keep saying that, but... Do not bother arguing with him. For him, the concept of losing simply does not exist. He's the ultimate affluent proge pro pro progeny. After all, a board race to success succeed from the day he was born. Uh, I guess that's true he considers victory his destiny and has lived his life accordingly tests and challenges are merely ways for him to stand victorious even if it's a life or death situation <laughs> got it is that not so biakia 
<laughs> At least one of you seems to understand. Isn't it wonderful? It is because I am the same as you. Games are meant to be one. That's enough. Are you trying to suggest we're on the same level? Close that vulgar math of yours. Oh. Well, well, I do apologize. Hmm. Anyway, let me just say this all to you. You need to try harder. If an opponent isn't going to give it their best, where's the fun for me? N no. That's a terrible way to look at it. What? Hmm? It's because... This isn't a game. Our lives are on the line, you know. To kill your own friends is... That's horrific. Friends? Who decided that? Huh? Huh? <laughs> We're not friends. No, quite the opposite. We're in the competition. We're enemies. But... What? But what? Stop trying to force your contradictions on me and just accept what I'm telling you. Bro, you are an asshole. Um... Come on. Yes, if you have something to say, say it. Otherwise, keep your mouth closed. Uh, I'm sorry. Stop fucking around. Hey, craphead. You get off bullying people that can't fight back. You want to try that on me? Hm. So you're pretend back to pretending to be friends, huh? How long do you think that's going to last? Piece of shit! Frick you. What? Is that all you can say? <laughs> it's unfortunately you would waste your breath on such empty gibberish. You son of a bitch. That's it. You're freaking dead. Just a second. Hold on. Just calm down. Piece of shit. I am calm. <sighs> How is this calm? Hmm. Anyway, I don't have any intention of working with the rest of you any longer. To cooperate during an elimination game is... Well, frankly, it's a waste of time, and I hate wasting my time. Waste of time? Not possible. Engaging in friendly group meals is out of the question. Someone could easily poison our food. I'd rather not be become part of the Last Supper just yet. Duh, shit. Quit talking like you're in a frickin' movie or something. Goodbye. All I'm saying is that ultimately you are all free to do whatever you want on your own. Goodbye. Without a second glance back, Biakia left. There was nothing we could, uh, noth there wasn't anything we could do to keep him from going. His way of thinking was just beyond anything the rest of us could have comprehended. But... Was he serious about all that? <laughs> he was without a doubt. Don't fuck with me. Well, frick him then. Maybe. Well, what he said, he might not necessarily be wrong. I mean, can you say for sure someone won't poison our food? <laughs> hey, come on, you too, Toko. Anyway. Well, it's not like anyone would care if, even if I was was gone, right? <laughs> Actually, I bet all would want me gone. You all think I'm disgusting. None of us think that. I'm telling you. You just think you don't think that. <sighs> I know some people like to play the victim, but this is just totally out there. <clears throat> you think I don't know, but I do. You want me gone? <laughs> and I'm the sure heck? the rest of you want the same thing, don't you? <laughs> hey, Togo, <talk> wait. <laughs> Just let her go. Once she gets going like that, there is nothing you can say to bring her back. Oh, everybody left. Ultimately, our breakfast meeting came to an end without answering any questions. Everyone headed back to their dorms. Dorms room's fine. Jeez, I'm tired already, but I don't have to, time to take even one day off. I need to get myself going. Three times. I have some time, so maybe I should take a little rest. Um, I don't think I'm going to skip any of the free times, because there is a lot to talk about, people, but... Yeah. So, um... Okay. Oh, well, what free time can we really talk about? Alright, well, guys, that's going to be it for today's episode, since we did just hit the 20 mark. There will be some longer episodes in the future, but um, there wasn't really anything too much in this episode. But we did learn more about Byakuya. Anyways, that's it, guys. I think I'm going to end it there. See you guys later. Peace.